Hi guys, I'm Master Fali and watching this your video. Today we will make this cool magical ring in Unreal Engine Niagara. All these text are particles I have aligned on the surface. We have lots of control how many text you want. We have uh, we can change the color, thickness, everything we can change in this. And this is very simple to make. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So first I need a mesh and a material uh, so I will make a material M and I'll just call it black I'll just make this uh, let's say I have this particle color here let's make it unlit okay two sided maybe I'll just save it so now if I have a Niagara this and yes ring and let's say I have minimal emitter I just use here once I want my particle to spawn once I'll take the one particle spawn burst and it should not die so in the particle state turn this off you can also use loop particle life or you can leave it like this so you have this single particle this should be mesh so I will use a mesh and what I'll use here is if I go I'll use a slender without caps so I think this one is fine yeah it is without caps so I can just browse this and in my Niagara I'll just put it here okay and then we can set the size I'll use non-uniform and maybe 10 10 or maybe 50 50 okay so it has this radius and this height cool although this is not very high poly mesh so you can see that segments but it's okay so now I'll use this material here override this now it will be it will turn white let me select or you can just drag it here so it's white you can make it of course black like this cool then I need both side of this ring some text that you can do in the materials but also you can do in Niagara so it's Niagara tutorial so I'll show you how to do that in the Niagara so what I'll do I'll take I'll just duplicate this instead of this let's say I have a sprite renderer and then let's say I have 20 particles cool and let me make the size of the particles and make this white so this is the size cool now these 20 particles should align to the radius of this so I'll just use shape location then I'll use torus and make the handle radius 0 uh, zero actually so you will have like this these are distributing randomly and every time I will play it will take the different position so instead of random distribution use the direct and instead of this age you just connect here uh, execution index ID and turn this off because if you don't turn this off you have 20 particles it will overlap it somewhere one particle and it will show you 19 turn this off so it will show you all 20 particles then you can reduce this and I'll just make it little up I'll just make it default should be around here cool now these are all camera alignment aligned so these should be aligned to that axis so I'll go here custom alignment custom facing vector then I'll take initial mesh orientation instead of random use the vector then take the shape vector and here I will take also line to mesh orientation so now you can see these are all aligned and, and aligned for uh, sprite to mesh orientation has default setting I'm not tweaking anything 
this is the axis then this should be also outside you can do that but first let's make that something look cool first i'll think i need to change the height of this then i'll make this little more offset around here in the center cool then the third thing i want uh, a text so i have actually text if i just search text i think i have text but yeah this one so i have this text and i think i have a material yeah there's a material very simple material it's just a sub UV of random and this is not exactly tag this is like something um, like old ancient text so i'll just browse this and here i'll just put this and this is four by four so i'll just go to sub UV make this four by four this is not sequence so turn this off take here animation in the spawn because we will use random and choose here your render so now you can see we have the text why these all look same although they should not look same and although uh, and one more thing random rotation for each and you can also use random size which is now 10 so i'll use maybe 8 and 12 or maybe 15 yeah so now we have this cool thing now i'll just use a bright color maybe 10 or 50 or 20 and i think size maybe 20 and 15 cool then for the outside i'll just copy this paste this and make the radius little high maybe 49 50 and also i'll put little bit camera offset just maybe 5 so now we have inside and outside text next thing i want the bright edge for that you can of course do that in the material if you want but if you want to do that here you can also do that just duplicate your this black thing make this color maybe like this maybe five or maybe three i'll reduce the size maybe point two here and then we have to just offset it so i'll just offset it how much you want when you want here and then I'll duplicate it one more time this way you will have more control otherwise you can do all these things in a single material you can do this tax thing you can do this as thing all this can be done in a single material but now you will have more control you can control lots of things here the count of the tax just by the spawn rate which is 20 and everything else now i want some particle emitting from these bright edges and we will finish that tutorial after that so for that i'll take again this emitter this text one and i'll just delete this sprite take the sprite again so it will come with default this thing okay and i don't need sub uv i don't need orientation and there should be some life okay and this should be camera alignment like this instead of this i'll use spawn rate actually let's say 100 for now and if i play it should be infinite and torus should be random and the size of particle maybe 5 and 1 and then i'll use velocity so they are going up and we can add some curl noise maybe maybe 50 i'll also animate the curl noise 
and I'll also make the random life and size maybe just one and point one and kernel is too much still and life maybe just one and point one so if I turn this off particle coming out of center so you can just offset it from here and the color of course should be the same as my bright edge particle size I'll make little down and also I'll take the size not this size and just scale it down then you just have to duplicate this first thing make the negative velocity and the second thing make the offset and that's it you have a magical kind of ring which has text which has glowing edge which has this particle from the edge so i don't know where you will use this effect in your game but you learn something new in this how to put text on a, a cylindrical shape how to emit particle from like that so i think you have learned something so if you if you have any question if you like just comment below i, I just let me know what your thoughts about this so that's it take care bye